ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike back with another video. Do me a favor, like the fucking video, turn on notifications, the feedback, y'all have been awesome. Brand new video every Monday and Wednesday, we're jamming out. Today we're talking about powerlifting motivation. We're talking about hypocrites. We're talking about Jedi braids. Ooh, give it a like for the Padawan braid. Uh, I'm probably guilty of some of the things we're about to go into, but at least I'm self-aware enough to talk about it. The most common question over 10 years of creating content on the internet, Instagram here, um, is how do I find motivation? Where's motivation? And I know many other people have also gotten this question because I've seen their responses, whether it be on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. Many people talk about motivation. And what I feel like all these things have turned into, and maybe it's people being frustrated, and again, I'm probably guilty of saying this, and I'm probably guilty of answering some of you guys a little bit short or not as friendly, but that's just because I've answered every single DM, nearly every comment, for eight to 10 years on the internet. I got into this to help, I got into this to teach, I got into this to entertain, so why would I ignore those things? Connect, community, like those are my goals here. So that's part of my goals to you. And again, I've seen other people be short about it and when I, and maybe this is me being judgmental, but what it feels like is people being um, virtue signaling, it's people gatekeeping, um, it's people being holier than thou kind of mentality where when someone asks them, hey, how do you keep motivated? They put on this tough guy badge and say, I, I, don't, I don't get motivated, I'm disciplined. Well, that's really easy. It's easy to say and it's even easier to do. It's easy to be disciplined with something you enjoy. And so if these people are getting paid, if it's their job, if it's something they love, it's easy to show up in bench press if you love to bench press. That doesn't make you disciplined, that doesn't make you tough. Side rant, lifting weights doesn't make you tough, it doesn't make you courageous, it doesn't make you cool, doesn't make you disciplined, none of that. Does it take great discipline to do things you do not enjoy? That's what takes discipline, to build new habits, to be self-aware and change your habits, to adapt. That is difficult, that takes discipline, that takes courage. A lot of things take courage. That's a pretty broad term, but in terms of this um, aspect here. And so I've probably said similar things where someone says, hey Mike, how do you stay motivated? Or how do you get motivated to go to the gym? And yeah, the blanket statement is like I rely on routine. I build routines to everything I do. One, to stay organized. Two, I build these, hab these routine turns to habits. And so I don't have to do them anymore. Uh, or think about them anymore. They just kind of go on their own. I don't have to think about breathing. And I know that's slightly different, but you get what I'm saying. I don't have to think about eating. I don't have to, right? You build routine that turn into habits over consistency. And then hopefully the discipline allows you to do those things when you really don't want to. Um, lifting is a little bit different for me. Does it fuel some of my business? For sure. It fuels my content, um, my strength, my physique, allows me to tell my story better. The experience of lifting weights since I was in eighth grade, um, training, powerlifting, the numbers I've hit or whatever, the people I've coached, the people I've interviewed, allow me to make a living here creating content, which has turned to me creating content on video games. Follow me on twitch.tv slash silentmike with two Ks. We're streaming all night, every night. Uh, start an apparel company. Tons of opportunities have come through the gym, but I'm not madly in love with training. I've done a video a long time ago about I'm not a power lifter, I'm not a world record holder, I've never wanted to be those things, I never have been those things, I've never claimed to be those things. Lifting for me is just part of my routine. I'm an athlete, I've trained to be an athlete. Um, it's just part of what I do, it's part of who I am. Um, I, video games are slightly different. I love to play video games, right? Uh, I love to play basketball. Basketball is my first love. I love movies, I love music. Um, I like training. I like the barbell. I think they're very good tools and it's part of uh, my life. And it's part of what I get to share with you guys. Now, uh, counter to all that, I think being motivated and being inspired is great. Uh, I love to be motivated. Um, I love hearing a good story. I love cheering for the underdog. Who doesn't like to watch the Olympics and hear the underdog story about overcoming adversity? I think that's what takes discipline. That's what takes courage. That's what toughness is, whether it be mental or physical. Overcoming adversity after adversity to still lead towards a goal, to, to build that routine when it's not easy, to do things when it's not easy, I think is the discipline, is the courage there. Now, 
again, being inspired, being motivated is okay. And who's to, what do they say, yuck your yum or yuck my yum. If you need to go to the gym three times a, a, a week for your, your physique goals, your health goals, your strength goals, to whether you wanna be a world record power lifter or you just wanna get fitter or you wanna impress that girl or I don't care why, right? Your goals are your goals. If they're driven by passion and not by ego, I don't care what your goals are. If they don't hurt somebody, your goal, if your goals don't hurt nobody, if your goals are driven by passion and not ego, I don't care what your goals are. I really don't. If you need to watch an angry video, if you need to watch Rocky Four every time before you go to the gym, if you need to listen to clips of your favorite lifter on YouTube telling you to get your ass in the gym, if you need to listen to your favorite song, if you need to dance, if you need, whatever gets you motivated, who am I to tell you no, right? Like that just seems so holier than thou and stupid to me. That is so dumb. Well, who am I to tell you to be a tough guy? Like all these memes on the internet, they probably started off meaning well and they probably started off with good intentions, but uh, overall they just then lend to themselves to trying to get more likes when someone writes a good quote or puts this little meme, it gets likes and someone reposts and someone makes content based off that other content and now we get the trickle effect and now you're just trying to get likes. But I really find them to be annoying as shit. Oh, you don't want to go to the gym? Neither do I. Tough luck, I showed up at five. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. You have to find what gets you going. You have to find what allows you to be successful in the long term. And in my honest suggestion is that build a habit, build a routine. But within building that habit, building routine on an off day or on some of your not favorite days when you're feeling down, if you gotta listen to a really good pump up song or watch your favorite YouTube video or watch your favorite deadlifter on YouTube, who am I to freaking say, no, don't do that. You're, you're weak. You're not tough. You're not disciplined. You're not disciplined because that person doesn't enjoy lifting and just wants a little bit more fun in their lifting to get them going out the door? Who the hell are we to tell each other that? Again, driven by passion, you wanna lift because it's healthy for you, you wanna lift a world, world record because you are passionate about the sport of powerlifting and you're not hurting anyone else in this process. Who the hell are you, any YouTuber, any human on earth to tell them otherwise? That's just a little pet peeve that popped up. I've been seeing things, obviously, January is the, the month of motivation and fitness for whatever reason. I mean, I know it's for New Year's resolution, but I think in the long term, building the habits and routine will allow you to adhere and have the best chance to reach your goals. I also think setting up your routines with some thought, some process, some self-awareness, right? If you know you can't get to the gym five days a week, don't set a goal to do it. Set it for four days a week. Set realistic goals, things that you can accomplish, things that you can do that are repeatable, right? That's the entire idea of how flexible dieting started versus just eating broccoli all day. Um, even me, my, my new goal this year is to really grow our Twitch community. We have an amazing small community there. I wanna grow it, I wanna spread the positivity, I wanna have some fun on there. I really enjoy talking with you guys and playing on there. And instead of saying, Mike, I'm gonna stream 40 hours a week, when I'm already working 40 hours on this business, 40 hours, in the, I, I run four businesses, I don't have that many hours. So why would I say that when I'll just burn myself out or not be able to accomplish that? So instead, we're going Monday through Thursday, sometimes Friday, we're streaming three to four hours every single night, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that's something that I'm gonna force myself to do consistently. And I say force, not that I dislike it, but sometimes I'm tired. I've been here since 5.30 a.m., I gotta train, I gotta write my emails, I have my meetings in between. There's other things going on in my life, and instead of forcing myself to pretend to be disciplined or whatever, sometimes I may watch Twitch. I may watch someone who's successful having fun playing video games on the internet to get me a little bit happier, more excited to go build my community and remind myself why I set that goal and why I'm about to go do what I'm about to go do. Long story short, don't let anyone tell you that you can't be motivated or inspired by videos, movies. I love Remember the Titans. I love Miracle. I love movies that are based on true stories that get me freaking hyped up. And who are you to, to shit on what makes me happy, motivated, or excited? Don't let anyone shame you for your motivation, for your goals, for your discipline. Fug them. We don't play that game. You do you, boo-boo, me do me. We say that for a long, long time here. Me do me. Look inside yourself, choose goals based on passion, not ego. 
Allow yourself to be motivated and inspired. Build routines that lead towards your goals, that lead towards habits. Enjoy yourself, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, surround yourself with good company, man. I appreciate you, Salam Mike, we're out of here.